What is PromQL? Prometheus provides a functional query language called PromQL. It is abbreviations of a Prometheus query language that lets us a user select and aggregate time series data in real time. The result of a expressions can either be shown as a graph, view as a tabular data in Prometheus Expressions browser or consumed by external system via the HTTP request. In this video, we need a like you know i'm assuming you have already installed the prometheus if not then please watch my uh, how to install the prometheus in your local uh, system or in that in a internet so for that you can see i have already installed and up and it is running and here i can just type that in a up or any expressions and i will be able to see the result so that is a prerequisite installations is needed i'll share the installations link in descriptions you can follow it if you have not done let's move further so now we know that in a what is the promql and promql is the structure uh, like in you know a uh, query language functional security language again i'm repeating you know and uh, it will be retrieve the data from the prometheus you know and as we know prometheus stored the data in form of a time series and it can be displayed in the graph or view into the tablers so for example here you can see the graph or you can see that in a table format right so <clears throat> that is nothing but a definitions of a, what is PromQL. Let's move further. In PromQL, uh, uh, before understanding in more details, uh, we need to understand the expressions language data type. Okay, so expressions language data type, what is that? So expressions language data type, it's a Prometheus expressions language. And expressions or sharp expressions can evaluated to one of the four types the type number one instant vector then second range vector third a scalar and fourth one is a string which is not used now it's a deprecated but what is the instant vector a instant vector a set of a time series containing a single sample for each time series all a string the same time as time then we have a range vector a set of a time series that contain a range of a data point over time for each time series and then a scalar you can see that in all these definitions it's already there in the tina prometheus website uh, instant vector range vector is a scalar and a string what next then we have a selecting a series so how to select that in a series uh, we need to know now we know that in a definitions what is the prompt ql so selecting a series for in that case we need a per, uh, prometheus up and running so we have a selecting the series uh, let's say i'm uh, once you'll be install the prometheus uh, by default it will be start collecting the prometheus uh, uh, monitoring itself so here we can see HTTP uh, uh, a request total so that is nothing but a one series as soon as I'll execute it you can see we started getting the data we can click on the graph and you can see uh, the data is started so that is nothing but uh, we will use to say select a latest sample uh, for series for the given metric name so the this is prometheus underscore http underscore request underscore total is nothing but a metric name which is collecting the t name whatever http request coming and their sum you know and you can see all it is displaying on basis of the t name uh, like in a code handler instance and name of the job you know again further we can filter it out let's say i want to filter it out um, a select a five minutes range right or two minutes range so how to put that in a range i'll say the two minutes right m stand for a minute right so here you can see it is saying uh, 
uh, it will be not display in the graph because query in invalid parameter query invalid expressions range vector it's coming as a range we cannot give it right but we can see that in a table or format right so here we have a uh, now we can see in two minutes it's coming the data eight time because interval is there for 50 seconds right a scrap interval that you can find it uh, uh, in that in a prometheus configurations videos right if i'll do that in a one minute and you can see the four time result will be there for each and every request so that is nothing but a uh, selecting that in a for range over a period of a time you know and we have a millisecond second hour week and many more you can see that in a abbreviations so that is nothing but a selecting uh, the series now after selecting the series we have a rate of a increase for the counter so what is the rate of increase of a counter so in that case you can uh, implement that in a rate functions right so here we have a let's say um, a r a t e rate and then i'll put it over here and uh, uh, we can say hey i need for uh, two minutes okay two minute uh, and then we close that in a uh, rate functions body right so if i execute it now we can see if it is returning that in a while rate of that in a uh, uh, increase for the counter okay so instead of a total here you can use that in a c is Prometheus HTTP duration second count okay so that will be more appropriate and you can see it is giving that in a uh, more like in a because rate functions it will be work for that in a counter will and uh, now we can see uh, per second uh, you know a rate of increase average over last five minutes or, or average over last two minutes because I have keep it over Two minutes right similarly you can uh, implement that in a i rate as well uh, that is another functions we have then we have a increase and many more now the next topic i'm going to talk about aggregating over multiple series so how to do that um, aggregating over multiple series so aggregating over multiple series we can use that in a uh, something like let's say byt byte right and uh, 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 go uh, memory memory something is there m e m m e m sys bytes okay go mem sys bytes if i execute it you can see it's returning something but it is a very less now instead of that let's say http request total only okay now i need if you'll run this one we are getting that in a such kind of a data now i want to keep that in a some functions because we are using that in aggregations over time so here you can see uh, now it's returning 140 theory but here we have other options let's say some by okay and i'll keep it uh, uh, let's say uh, what it is it returning okay first we need to check it what it is returning at the moment so it is returning all this value what i'll do i'll add that in another panel and here i'll write some by and then uh, uh, bracket i'll keep it let's say code, code and you know close it and then uh, i'm saying uh, it's a close code some by close and then uh, we can keep it uh, i'll say uh, uh, prometheus request total right and uh, uh, okay so if i execute it you can see it's a sum is coming right remove that in a front panel so it says it's a coming code 200 it's having 156 value code 302 it is having one and code 400 is having one right so likewise you can use it in a in a uh, uh, 
uh, database we use like in a uh, group by sum by and uh, uh, group right uh, so group by like in and sum and many more likewise we have a average group bottom k top k quantile and many more functions you can use it and if you need further details on any any functions please comment in into that in uh, my video I'll be more than happy to answer your questions then also you can use that in a math between series let's say uh, we have a um, uh, STTP request total plus uh, I'll say that in a hundred so easily you can do that in a math so what happened whatever's value was there hundreds got added you can use that in a multiplications divisions or whatever you want right so uh, let's say if you have a memory related stuff then you can use that in even though greater than less than and all you can use it now you can also use that in a set operator right so for using the set operator let's say we have an up matrix right and let's say what it is happening only one is there right so we are saying um, up matrix is equal to and then we are saying that in a uh, job equals to uh, prometheus right uh, so still it will be run now uh, prometheus it is expecting equals unexpected expressions all right okay so we need a uh, this one instead of a right so you can see uh, still we are getting one or we can use that in a or job equals to something other than that right or you can use that in a end I'll say that in let's say a no D which is not there at the moment so what happened it is a, a still using it but with help of a set operator you can also use that in a end unless uh, end on then we have a changing in uh, in a gaze uh, aggregations over time and many more so let's say I want to use that in a time so it's again depend on uh, whenever you will be used that in a time functions uh, you know it will be display the current time in milliseconds now this functions is a use and we can can say that in a um, uh, ACCOND okay something uh, minus let's say pro P P -R -O -M -T -S. okay and uh, you can see if there is a uh, second is there right so here we have a engine query uh, Prometheus engine query duration second count and you can see it's getting current time minus there and then we can see that in their data and graph as well right so likewise you can also use the dealing with a missing data so dealing with a missing data is a very good example for that in a uptime and we have a a b a c and t absent functions with a up and we can put that in a let's say uh, up only and uh, you can see here so if there is anything absent so it will be displayed at the moment nothing is there so it is not displaying and uh, in the prompt ql that is a very important point we have another is a sub queries so in sub query again you can use that in a uh, rate uh, uh, and in rate over then uh, uh, for particular fives uh, five minutes second minutes and uh, over one hour so let's try it one one example so in sub query rat let's say rate and http request total and i'm saying that in a four uh, let's say two minutes uh, and then I'm saying a uh, like in you know I want to take a sub query for past one hours right so here again I'll use that in let's say one and H colon so what it will be happen uh, if I execute it still I'm able to get the results so let's say here I'm saying that in a two and ten uh, five minutes okay 
so here you can see in five minutes we are able to get it and uh, or eight over so what this definition is saying that in you know, whatever query we have mentioned so it's saying calculate that in a uh, two minute uh, average average rate over five minutes right at the default sub query resolutions which is the global rule evolutions interval right so uh, that way you can use that in a sub query as well right so we have a functions max over time so in uh, you can also use that in a max over time um, uh, you know using the sub query uh, result to get the maximum rate over one hours period you know so what was the maximum rate we have so so let's say uh, in that case uh, just you have to use that in a max underscore o v r over and then time max over time and then we close it in red and uh, uh, same query will be keep it uh, as it is and then we'll close that in a bracket now what it will be happen it will be return maximum over time uh, you know so using the sub query results to get the maximum rate over five minutes right so within the five minutes what happened whatever's maximum rate was there it's returning you can see these are the value rest of the value we have a zero you know so likewise these are the topic we know uh, now for uh, like in using the tna uh, you know uh, permit uh, what is with help of a prompt ql and if you have any questions uh, feel free let me know in that in a comment sections i'll be more than happy to answer thanks for watching my video please like share and don't forget to subscribe